Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed this beautiful Sunday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support you've been giving me each and every day. Even though I have not been making videos daily or sometimes I do, you know, just thank you for the support that you're giving me anyway. And just allowing me to be in your life is a blessing as you are in mine. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl is about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to drop a line or two uh, so I can get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content in my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hand you towards positive direction. Also, if you uh, feel like the video is being very informative to you and you uh, get good vibes off of it, you know that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some dark times right now and need validation or confirmation towards their life journey or even their life path or, you know, soul purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It's so greatly appreciating. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, this beautiful meditation music I'm listening to is uh, called Let Go of Resentment um, and Anger, Healing, Anxiety, Guilt, B Bitterness, Reprogram Your Mind. And I'm going to go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about, um, uh, we uh, let me see, uh, why stay in the present? when the door is wide open. Y'all, I wasn't even gonna make no videos today, but I was on Facebook, and um, if you've been with me for a while, let me turn that down a little bit so you can hear me, so I don't feel like I'm yelling. Um, uh, and I was listening to one of my mentors, uh, Jay uh, Sheedy. He, uh, he used to be a monk, so he makes like motivational videos, and I mean, he really had me, like my mind was open and blown today, and it was just like, he was giving me so much content, and just being able to be blessed to hear things like that, you know, it's always good for us to be able to, you know, see things from a different point of view, because we go through so many issues, you know, if we, we deal with family trauma, we deal with any kind of trauma that's been in your life, you know, um, sometimes we can be a prisoner in our own minds, and I've, I've caught myself doing it too, so, you know, if I'm making a video about it, and I tell y'all do it, I'm, I'm telling myself this as well, because we have went through so many traumatizing things, and you, we really need to heal, but we cannot heal if we be a prisoner in our mind, keep going through the same painful scenario over and over and over again, because you, you know, there's so many beautiful things heading towards your way, but you can't be able to experience those good things coming or you can't enjoy the things you're seeing as signs that things are coming your way if you keep replaying the same painful things that has kept you stuck in the past. So it's just like I was going through this and I mean tears were falling because I'm just like wow you know I was just going through this today you know I had to keep telling myself you know even though it's like my ego wants to you know keep bringing up stuff that I'm just like I don't even care about these situations no more you know if this did happen you know I'm not even in that situation no more so why would you allow yourself to even get upset about the situation anymore why would you allow yourself to keep playing this memory off in your head and it's just like ego keeps bringing that back up and I'm like if you don't sit down and have a couple of seats you know, and it was just like, I, I was just going to take me a break today. That's the reason why, I'm, I mean, it's like 7 something at night. So I know this video will probably come out like around 9, 10 o'clock at night and the rest of them are too. But I'm just like, you know what? The videos will be there for when people need to hear them. Because we go through so many different things every day. And it's like, we deserve to be happy. We deserve to be able to live for the future. But, you know, if we're so stuck in the past... You know, how are we going to be able to, you know, <laughs> enjoy our future if we, we keep playing the same painful things that we went over? If you know you're not allowing yourself to be attached to these people anymore, being able to allow them to have that power over you anymore, you know, because it's just like me being in my situation allows me to keep replaying the, you know, the, the, 
the really hurtful things that my family did to me. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm so tired of thinking about this. I'm so tired of going over it. I just want to be free from it. And it's like, I keep putting myself in that mental prison of what they done. And it's just like, you're not even talking to these people. You won't even let them in your life anymore. So why give them that power? And I guess it's just the fact is it, you know, it's like, it's still in my mind. Like, did they really do this to you? <laughs> did they really, you know, they really put you in a situation, but it's just like this situation has brought me so many blessings. It really has brought me so many blessings to allow me to be able to help others that are going through similar situations that I'm going through. Being able to allow myself to look in a different perspective, a different perspective as you start to look in a different perspective of your life. You know, if you have grown from the pain that has been placed upon you. You know that there's things that you have went through in your life that has really hurt you in a really messed up way. I mean, messed you up the long way. Where, you know, if you was to tell somebody else about this situation, they'll be looking at you like, damn. Ooh, child. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. You know, but it's just the fact is you're still here to be able to, you know, tell that story. But not allowing yourself to see, stay in that mental prison is not really where we're supposed to be. You're supposed to be actually living your life, being able to appreciate everything that life has to offer you, knowing that you can further yourself from this pain that has endured, you know, endured in your life from the past, being able to turn that situation into a positive outcome. And I've always said that, you know, it's just a situation I have to keep telling myself that every day. And it's just like, you know, the devil is trying to stay busy with you. If he keeps trying to push, bring you back to that situation, that happened to you. You have to keep telling yourself, you know what, look, you want to be able to enjoy these happy things in your life, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you tell yourself that, then you're going to have to let that part go. You're going to really have to let that go. And it was just like my mom and them used to always tell me that because that was my main problem. You know, I'm just that, I don't know if it's just a tourist thing or it's just like me. It's like I can really have a grudge against somebody and they could have been passed on. And they were like, you know, such and such that I don't care. They made me mad, this and this and that, whatever. I, I feel bad for their family. They were like, I don't, Ross, and they did. It don't matter. You know, and then it's just like, you know, and I'm just like, now I'm like, well, dang, dang. <laughs> you know, you can't do anything else about it. These folks ain't even here no more. And it's just like, I used to always look at my dad and it's just like, dang, he would forgive somebody just like that. You know, and he was just like, oh, it's okay. I forgive you. And I'm just like, what the hell? Okay. You know, and I, you know, I really wish I could be like that with him, but you know, I, I can if I allow myself to step out that prison, you know, and I, there's times I've told people. You know, I can have visions of us being in a prison, in that cell, where we're looking at those four walls screaming, and, you know, to get out. But we don't realize the key is in that door and the door is halfway open. All we got to do is press it off, you know, press it open and, and walk out. You all have that choice. You know, it's just like we're all beautiful people. We have all made mistakes. There's things that you have done in your life you're not proud of. And, you know, there's times that things have happened to you that you probably feel like you're ashamed of. You should never be ashamed of the, the pain you endure. You know, some people put it in your life, you know, narcissistic people or anybody negative will have you just keep reminding you of your past, keep reminding you of your past. And those are the people you need to step aside from. You know, it's sad at times that it could be your family members or whatever. It's just the last few days I'm cut so many people out of my life and it ain't even funny. You know, I didn't even leave them, a, you know, hey, you know, we ain't going to talk no more. I just blocked them out of my life. When universe is telling me, you know, they're giving up certain names and they're saying, you need to part your ways with them. I'm not asking no kind of questions. I'm going to get you out of my life. I just, you know, if there's times if I see, sit up here and see myself supporting you and I'm just not getting that kind of energy back, like you're just looking at me or whatever, just, you know, wishing bad on me, not wanting me to get out of my situation. I have to be able to cut those folks out of my life. Not even leaving any grudges. You know, I've had to do that just because the, I've been these, there for these people, but I did not get the same kind of feeling and energy back from them. So it's just like I just made my peace with them and just gone about my business, not even holding no grudge or anything like that. And I need to do the same thing about my past. Not, you know, just being able to let go and say, you know what? Yes, this was a very painful and hurtful situation. But I'm not in this situation no more. So I should not allow 
the things that these people did to me keep affecting me the way they do. You know, I've made videos about this, but we have all been through a certain thing where we were, you know, we're keep going around the same rotating wheel, the same hamster wheel. And I have to tell myself, walk out that prison, boo boo. <laughs> you ain't gotta be there. Just let it go. You know, you you have the right to enjoy life and what see what life has to offer you. You deserve to be happy. You just deserve to have love, love and life and live it to the fullest because we only got a short time here. So we should enjoy that. You know, you have to enjoy life like this is your last day on earth. Not to be able to complain about the things we don't have in our life, but being able to accept the things we do have in our life. But, you know, when better things are coming to offer, you got to be grateful for those things too because you worked hard for those. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. Um, like and subscribe. You know, drop me a line and allow, my, allow, allow me to hear your opinion about this video. And I'll give my post notification shout out to... Let me see, Julie uh, Carey and with expectancy and spirit girl. Much love to you. And I will talk to you on my next video. I'm trying to leave them short so y'all can be able to get at least some of them tonight. But, you know, drop me a line. Give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. You know, drop me a I already said drop me a line. But like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload the next video. Much love to you. Peace and be wild. Know you're truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. Knowing there's always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace, be wild.